questions, chaos, concern. We've been mentioning days before the school year, parents worrying the district is just not as prepared as it should be. Mm -hmm. And while many students will go back to in-person learning, others will go back virtually. Consumer investigator Lindsay Bramson took parents' concerns straight to school administrators. They'll be some of the first students going back in the state of Tennessee. And in Sumner County, students have the option to go back in person or stay at home and learn virtually. Where we're at right now is, the, is what we normally do at the beginning of school where we review our enrollment and we make adjustments in our staffing based on where enrollment is. Now, Hundreds of parents took to the district's Facebook page this week worried their plan isn't good enough. One parent saying, I haven't received an email from my middle school student yet. Would be nice to know what's going on. Another writes, I'm personally very, very concerned that this is putting our family at risk. Change is different and, and change can be scary. Some parents also tell News 4 they were told there aren't enough teachers to teach all those students who signed up for virtual learning. So we asked the district about it. What do you say to parents who feel like there aren't enough teachers to teach all the kids virtually right now? I, that's not true. I mean, we're adjusting staffing, but you know, there are plenty of teachers for in classroom and virtual. It's just, we're making adjustments. Jeremy Johnson, who is speaking on behalf of the district, says temperature checks will be given daily and there is a plan outlined on the district's website as to what will happen if a student or teacher gets sick with COVID-19. Right now, the mask mandate in Sumner County is set to expire Monday. However, it's up to the school districts and its boards to require students to wear masks. And right now, there is no requirement for students to wear masks in Sumner County. I'm Lindsay Bramson, News 4 Nashville.